For my dad's birthday this year, my sister and my brothers and I chipped in and got my father a flight simulator. And in this video, I'm going to build a simple desk to hold the simulator. This project is sponsored by Leica, and I'll be using the Leica laser level about halfway through the project to help install the desk. I'm making the desktop out of 3 quarter inch birch plywood, and I get started with a combination square by drawing a 45 degree line on the plywood. Then I clamp a jig for my circular saw at that line and make the cut. And the next cut, I do the same thing with a 45 degree line made with the combination square. Again, I clamp the jig onto the plywood and make the cut. Next, I'll use iron-on edge banding and iron it onto the end grain of the plywood. Then I'll lightly sand the desktop and finish it with three coats of the water-based polyurethane, sanding in between coats with 220 sandpaper. Next, I'll cut cleats out of three-quarter inch plywood at two and a half inches and I'll use these cleats by first attaching them to the wall and then setting the desktop on top of the cleats. I make a list of all the tools that I'll need for the installation as I'm working on the project. That way when I go to pack up all of my tools, I'm less likely to forget something. I want the top of the desk to be 30 inches tall, so I measure and mark a line on the wall at 29 and a quarter. This is where the laser level comes in really handy, because you can just raise that line up to the mark on the wall and know that you're level on both walls. Here I'm using a stud finder to find the studs. I try to keep the mess down to a minimum by drilling over the bag. I'm using two inch drywall screws to attach the cleat to the wall. And I'll attach the desktop with a few simple L brackets. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with this. It does have a little bit more give than I would like. When my brother comes by later tonight, he'll set up the monitors for the, the flight simulator, and then we'll decide whether or not we want to make this a little bit more rigid. 
I didn't want to add a support to the bottom because I'm not quite sure how the controls are going to connect to the desktop. If it turns out that I do want to make it more rigid, I'll cut a piece of poplar at two and a half inches, which is the same width as the cleats, and I'll make sure that I cut 45s on each side, tie it to the cleats that are attached to the wall, and then tie it to the bottom of the desk, and that will make this much more rigid. You might want to put a small hole to run wire up instead of over like this. We'll see. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Well, I could put a cleat. Do you think it's stiff enough? Yeah, I mean, look. I mean, well, maybe just uh, I could put a cleat and I'll bring a, a Fossner bit, which will help me drill a cleaner hole if you want a hole on the desktop. Basically, this is an infrared tracking unit. It's called a Track IR. And with that unit comes these infrared reflectors that just pin onto the hat. And then from here, this unit can tell where you're looking and then change your perspective within the game. This will work for now, but I think I might want, I think I might want to get some like industrial Velcro okay. and put that down so we can take it off. So it doesn't push away. Exactly. So it turns out that the desk did need to be stiffened up a little bit. So I've made a cleat or a brace out of poplar. It measures two and a half inches wide by 50 inches long. That's long point to long point of the miter. I put a little round over on the bottom of the brace so your legs don't get scratched. I'll attach this to the cleat and then I'll attach the brace to the bottom of the desk through these pocket holes, pocket holes with Craig screws and that should stiffen it up. And my folks only live maybe 40 minutes away, so I'll drive down there sometime next week and install this. And hopefully by then, my brother will have all three screens working. He probably already does, but uh, it, it wasn't working at the time. And if they're working, I'll get a photograph or maybe even a, a short video and put that on Facebook. Also, I wanted to be real clear because some people are confused or concerned as like they don't know when a video is sponsored. I try to be really clear about that. But this video was sponsored by Leica. That's a great tool and it was really handy for this project as you can see. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon. I think you could take that wine glass out of the shot. <laughs>